So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an awesome looking slideshow using Canva. Now, the first thing that you have to do is to go to canva.com and create an account. You can create a free one and create your slideshow. After you create your Canva account, we're going to get started. So to do that, we'll go up to create design at the top right hand side, and we are going to search for a slideshow. Now you'll notice I have a few different options depending on the size of my slideshow. At the bottom, you can see that there's a few different themes on here like travel, wedding, real estate. You can really select any of these. I'm just going to select this first one and I'm going to be taken to the page where I can design my slideshow. Now you'll notice that this particular listing, it wasn't able to find any templates. So if I clear that, I'm now given hundreds of different templates that I can use. Now I can search for a particular template right up here at the top or I can select one of the topics that have already been created let me just take summer okay this looks like a nice one I'm going to select this theme and there we go I have my first slide that I can add so I've got my slide here now I'm gonna play around with this and customize this the way that I want it but the next thing that I need is pictures for me to include on the slideshow so from here I'm going to select the files that I want to include for the slideshow So now all of my photos for the slideshow are loaded over here to the left. Now what I have to do is to create a new slide and add each photo that I want to include. Now this is where I have a little bit of flexibility. I can have just one photo on each slide or I can add a number of photos. So it really does give you some options in terms of how you want your slideshow to look. Okay, so here is my slideshow. The first thing I'm going to do is to go back to the first slide. I'm just gonna change this a bit. Obviously, you can change the colors, you can change the text. I'm just going to change this to Hello New York because that's the place that I recently visited. And now I can go through and I can customize how I want the look of this slideshow to be. Now, one of the things I can do if I select this photo right over here, I have some options in terms of what effect that I want. So you can see right over here, there is photo zoom, there's drift, lots of different options to give these photos a little bit of movement. And I can add these photos either on enter, exit or on both. I can adjust the speed lots of different ways that I can play around with these photos. So I'm going to do the same thing for each one. I'll just put this one here and kind of put that one there. So I'm just going to go and add a few different effects to some of my photos. I'm just going to pick just random ones for now. Okay, almost there. I've got these photos here. And then I'll just throw this one on here. Okay, a few other things that I can do. Now, you'll notice up at the top, I can control how long I want each slide to go to. So I can have all 11 slides on my page go for five seconds, or I can adjust the timing of each individual slide. Now, there's other things you can do as well. So if I select text and I wanted to add just some text on the screen, I can add something like New York at night, Okay, change the color so you can see it a little bit better. Kind of put it down here. Now I'm not going to do that because I really just want pictures. But if you did want to add a little bit of text, that's something that you can do on your slides. Now, another thing that you can do is you can add some different elements. So if I just do a search for New York, Okay, you can see there's lots of different images on here that I, again, can animate on my screen. Have that one go in and out. Just like the photos, you can have these images animate. One of the really interesting things that you can do on here is we can search for New York again. I'm going to click on these filters and I'm just going to choose animated. And we should see Let's see, things like this, they're just animated graphics that can show up on my slides if I would like. Okay, so I've got my slides. I've got a little bit of motion for each photo. I showed you how you can add text and anima add animations. Next, let's add transitions between these two slides. If you just hover your mouse in between two slides, that's where you can pick the transition. Let me just try slide. 
I'll slide this first one. Let me just show you a few different transitions that you can use on here. I'll just do stack. We'll do a whole bunch of different ones. Okay, so I've got all of my transitions on here. Again, if I wanted to change the time to make each slide a little bit longer, I'll do that about seven seconds for each slide. You can see the slides at the bottom. If I want to play this at any time, I can just hit the play button. And this is going to give me an idea of what my slideshow is going to look like. So the last thing that I have to do to finish off my... So the last thing I have to do to finish off my slideshow is add a music... So the last thing I have to do to finish off my slideshow is to add some music. Now, one of the things that I really like about Canva is that it has audio included inside your subscription. So if you click on the audio tab, you'll see lots of different tracks. You can search for tracks up here based on feel, based on the style, and you'll find a number of different tracks which will be returned to you that fit that search query. But what I'm going to do is just find something on here. Let me play a couple. Same way. Okay, let's say I like this one, Champions. There it is, it's now on my timeline. I can take this and just kind of drag this right over here. Now let me play this for a second. So one thing I notice, it seems like the the songs, the, the sl so one thing I notice, it seems like the slides are a little long, so I'm just going to switch those. I'm going to go back to four, four seconds for each slide, apply that all. It really reduces the size of my slideshow. Let me go ahead and just play this again. Okay, not bad. So I'm just about set. There is one thing that I do want to show you, and that's a cool feature called Beat Sync. So if I select my audio track and go up to Beat Sync, you'll notice that you have the options where you can select, you'll have the option to sync all of the photos and videos that you use to match the beats on your audio track. If you look down here, you can see each of those little beats. If I collect this, if I select sync now, you'll notice if I select sync now, Canva will sync all of my photos to that song. So it just makes a better slideshow. So let's go ahead and play a little bit more. Okay, so not bad. That didn't take very long. I love everything that I can add on here. My last step is to my last step is to export this as a video. To do that, I'm going to do that. I'm going to select share. I'm going to scroll down to download, and I'm going to choose an MP4 video. I want all of those pages to go into my slideshow, and I'm going to select download. And in just a few moments, Canva will download that slideshow for me as an MP4. Okay, it looks like my video is done. Let's go ahead and take a look at my new travel vlog. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how you can create an awesome looking slideshow with Canva in just a few minutes. If you're looking for a way to maybe present a series of pictures, this is a project that I would definitely include. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below.